Hello everybody, we are here at Knott's Berry Farm in Buena Park, California once again. We were supposed to come back here for another taste of Mary Farm, but it got canceled and Knott's was very generous in refunding our money. Um, but they have opened up a new little thing here where they're just doing the Crash Village part. Knott's is desperately, and I applaud them for it, for trying to keep their parks open as much as they can. The situation here in California is crazy. You never know what it's going to be like. But they're trying to stay open, and we are trying to support them in that. And so we're going to check out the Craft Village. Coming into parking here, parking is still the same for Knott's. It's still free. It's been free this whole time. Um, we're going to where it says parking and curbside pickup. So it's basically where you would go normally for the marketplace, which is what we're doing today. We're going to the marketplace, so it says that you park in the marketplace parking, right? We're here at the marketplace right now, and all those benches that were out here for outdoor dining are, of course, now gone. They kept up the tent over there, but, um, yeah, I can smell the chicken, though. Uh -huh. Just can't it. eat it on property, that's the thing. Yeah. We're here at the line to get checked in for screening pretty long it's over by the chicken dinner place I just saw the roosters over there they were over by peanuts headquarters I don't see them now but they were just over here so all the stores are still open and we're just social distancing ourselves while waiting in line we have one one a park PD guy here inspecting going through electronic and lots of overhead Announcement saying that we cannot eat in the park, so we will not eat in the park. We are over here, and now there's no tickets, so you can just walk right in. That's different. No turnstable or anything. Just go right in. Good morning. Well, that's definitely different. Hello, and welcome to the Christmas Crafts Village here at Knott's Berry Farm. So basically it looks like everything that the Knott's Mary Farm, Taste of Knott's Mary Farm event was, but it's just all merchandise now, there's no food. Taste of my, Knott's Mary Farm minus the taste. Oh, yes. Over here it's pretty much cut off over by where the Spurs store is, so you can't go over to the steakhouse. I've lost him somewhere in this. Oh, there she went. she's uh, walking. And now we discovered where they put all the benches. They pushed them just over the, the boundary there. The pan for gold section is not open. No penny for gold. But you can buy pins if you want pins. It's only vendors, so the shooting game's down right now. Curious to see what's inside the pecans over here. No ma Mannequins in the peak end for the barber shop. So he has a. The blacksmith is working though. Here, the sheriff's office has been turned into a mug store. Goldie Saloon is still working. Um. We'll go say hello to Sad Eye Joe. But I think he was kind of angry after he. Yep, there's. Up, oh, yep, he's snoring. He's just sleeping, you know, with his eyes open. The Catawampus and the Catawampus baby. Um, they're pretty silent today, but they're still here. Nothing on stage anywhere. Just walking through. We'll go look at Boot Hill, the Undertaker, see if he's working. The effect here at the Undertaker's office is still working. You can see him here change into a skeleton. So that's still going on. This was the county house for Scrooge and Marley, but nobody's counting today. Yep. Lots of cool woodwork yep. stuff here. Wow, that one they inlaid some jade into it. That's pretty cool. You can smell the the wood chips here. 
Wow, that's a fancy wine thing. The restrooms on this end, both of the restrooms yeah. are closed. Family, and you can only go this far. You cannot go all the way around to, you can go over here to get a reservation to see Santa. He's apparently not here yet. So it's very interesting. They have definitely locked down some stuff. You were able during the Taste of Mary Farm to walk further, but I'm guessing they on purpose wanted to keep capacity down. So yeah. closing off areas means they keep capacity down. Going into the graveyard over here. We'll see what there is to see. Not much. Oh, there goes the guy with the saw. I can hear him. Chainsaw guy is here. During the daytime here, very peaceful here at the graveyard. Not much here. Oh, Ebenezer Scrooge. That's new. They have an Ebenezer Scrooge on tombstone here. That is new. Ebenezer Scrooge. February 7th, 1786. December 25th, 18... something, I don't know. Looking at some crystals here. Very nice. And we got some glass blowing going on over here. Yeah. Doing some glass blowing. Looks like they're... He's gonna about to make a new creation here. Looks like something with flowers on it. We got the tree going. We got some cartoon designers over here. The 340 is parked for our photo ops. Here you can't get over to where the log ride is. That's locked off. Uh -huh. it's right over here at the Calico Mine, they got a little photo booth. Mm -hmm. The stage is just showing Merry Christmas projection up, but you can't sit in that area. They just got it whole, totally blocked off. And once again, access to the Berry Tales ride is blocked off. The booth over there that used to get you over to the um, Christmas preview thing is closed off. So yeah, this is basically like the beginning of the event when we had the first just taste of calico. This is as far as we could go. So they've definitely brought it back to that level open. It's nice that there's anything open. Maybe a few more Christmassy things. You can really hear the Berry Tales Return to the Fair factory sound going off here, along with the music. Cordy's Corner is totally closed. There's not really much anything here open. We can just all hope that it'll open up soon. And we'll get back to a little bit of normal. Back over here by the saloon. The saloon is of course closed. I think all the indoor dining places are closed. Just outdoor booths, that's all it is, but that's okay. We'll all deal with what we can get. This is very interesting. What were you saying, Denise? Over here at Sutter's Crew, you can purchase two go. Do not eat it in the park upon pain of death. Uh -huh. Some of the most popular items from Taste of Mary Farm. You can get tamales, you can get the mac and cheese with the pork on it, you can get the samosas, the cider, you know, the boysenberry pie. Yeah, very cool. So we might have to do this on the way out. Uh -huh. That is good to know. You can't go back, so we're probably not going to be able to get into the Fiesta Village area at all, my guess. I don't think so. So... We're gonna be doing like the Snoopy, uh -huh. Camp Snoopy thing backwards, I guess, which is fine. Yeah. I'm hoping we get there at all. It's 11.20 now, and hardly anybody's coming in anymore. So anybody who wanted to come into the park has come in. There's hardly no lines to go to the front part here to uh -huh. get the photo op here. So there's really lots of space in here. 
Yeah. Coming into Camp Snoopy now. Not a lot to sell here at Camp Snoopy. But we can see all the elves. They get to have the fun, not us. Yep. Yep, Christmas toys and polar bears. And the fountains are running, but you can't walk down into them. Yep. Kevin, okay, Oh, it's Kelfin. Kelfin is his name. Yeah. So what do you think? All these presents here are for Kelfin. No, they're all for Kevin. K-E-V-I-N. Oh, the L's names are Kelfin. Yes, the presents are for the L's. Poor Kevin, who left okay. it home alone, gets all the presents. Okay. okay, let's see what the truck's bringing in this time. This time it's bringing in Christmas confections. All your sweets in one spot is what it's bringing in. Over here, let's see how far you can go. Over here, yep, you can't get, as predicted, you cannot get into Fiesta Village. It is blocked over here at the pass. The rush of people coming in in the beginning, we were actually in lines as you saw. But now at 12 o'clock, it's very spaced out out here. Not that many people left. Oh, the hotel is open. They're probably limiting how many yeah, people can Yeah, and they're limiting which direction you can come in on. Yeah. So I can see over here that some of the indoor dining places have, I'm mean not indoor dining, indoor stores like over here, the Outfitters and the Leatherworks, they just opened up. So they are open. They were just an hour later from regular time. Lots of stuff here at the Peanuts headquarters here, which is still open, of course, because... There, just sort of another retail. We are on the way out of our park, but there have been some line developments here at the chicken place. As everybody's leaving, they want to get their food to go. So that is one factor with this new system is. Getting your food to go causes a little bit of loss. One thing I noticed right away when I ate one of the bites is they were cold, so we're skipping that and we're going to the chicken dinner thing, which is actually That's hot. We're gonna do it for today at Knott's Berry Farm at the Crafts Fair here at Knott's Berry Farm. Got my food, gonna take it to go, and we'll eat it somewhere off property.